Hello YouTube, Tim here. I like experiments. I think most of you have probably figured that out by now. If you're new, welcome. This is going to be fun. I'm taking a PVC bow that I've made and I drilled a hole in the side. That may not seem all that important, but what I'm going to be doing with the bow through that hole is going to be interesting. We'll get to that later, but for now, all I did was I just cut rough knocks. This is a very basic, unimpressive bow, just a standard youth recurve. It's nothing special but it's good enough. And the point is, I'm going to be testing his draw weight right now, then I'll tell you what I'm going to do to it, and then we'll see what its draw weight is after I do it. Let me just go ahead and string it. Make sure that it's straight. There you go. The handle's a little bit narrow, so it has a tendency to want to twist. But it also takes correction very handily. A little bit of twisting, and it just comes right back into line. So, very nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and see. First of all, if that hole affects it, I'm really hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping I can get a full 28 inch draw out of it. And I don't expect to have any problems with it. The handle is under a lot of stress, but right there at the center, I did it purposely, not at the front and back, which are under a lot of stress, but near the neutral plane. That portion of the PVC is doing almost no work. Essentially, it's just a placeholder to keep the top and the bottom apart, and there's plenty of material to do that. So let's go ahead and hook up the scale. The brace height is 7 inches, almost perfect for a bow like this. It's a really nice, I love the, the U3 curve. I always come back to simple designs. If somebody just asks me for a plain bow, nothing special, this is really the kind that I like. So I'm reading zero pounds. Let's start drawing it. Thirty-four, thirty-five at twenty, forty-two at twenty-four, and 50 pounds, 28 inches. I'm going to say that's a pretty hefty U3 curve. That is not a, a very light one at all. I'm a little surprised at how heavy it is, and I'm sure most of that is due to the fact that the center of the handle is very, very intensely flattened. But see, that's creating a little bit of lateral instability. My modification might solve that problem as well as add a little bit of extra strength to the bow. Specifically, this is something that any number of us have probably thought about, and I've only recently heard that other people are trying it online. Well, there's some very interesting uh, markings on here around the point where I drilled. Let me see if I can get it to focus on it to show you. Look at that. Must a V shape from one side to the other. Interesting, that wasn't there before. It's a stress mark of some kind. But it seems to have held up. What I'm going to be doing is going to reinforce it even more. The plan? I'm going to take some spray and insulation. You know, the gap filler stuff that you can use for your door frames, the window sealer. And I'm going to fill this sucker up, at least parts of the limbs. That's going to be the, uh, the plan. And then, will it cure? That might be overnight. Doesn't matter. Whatever the, the period, we'll then come back and we'll test the draw weight again. If it's higher than 50 pounds, then you know, there's the possibility that this could be adding performance to the bows. The other thing to consider is the amount of mass added versus the amount of weight added. Let's get to trying that, and uh, I'm just so excited to, to see what happens. <laughs> 